Liberal Immigration Minister Mark Miller is considering stripping a Toronto ISIS terrorist of the Canadian citizenship given to him by the Liberal government. Mark better talk to his boss, Justin Trudeau, first. Because we know, Trudeau says, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. I hope to be able to provide answers in relatively, uh, in a relatively short timeline about what happened. Uh, I'm as disgusted as any Canadian, but I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of it. And I will. Uh, the information that I can share in the context of uh, criminal proceedings may be limited, but I want to make sure first and foremost that Canadians are safe and that we do not compromise an ongoing court case. But again, I think Canadians deserve answers. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm also going to take the next step, which is to start the preliminary work uh, with the evidence at hand to look at whether the individual in question's citizenship should be revoked. The minister will share uh, all that all that we learned uh, in the appropriate moment. But uh, we're taking this extremely seriously uh, because Canadians need to have confidence in our immigration system and on the uh, millions of people who've come here over over the past years uh, to build a better life for themselves and their future. We need to make sure everything is done to keep Canadians safe. Is the issue that you are not sure as to how this person came to Canada or just not willing to share at this point what you know? We are uh, proceeding in a proper and thorough investigation on exactly how this happened and we will share with Canadians at the appropriate moment. Ahmed Fouad Mustafa El Didi, age 62, and his son, 26-year-old Mustafa El Didi, were caught on July 28th in Richmond Hill while attempting to get their hands on an axe and a machete to carry out their sinister plan to attack the city's Jewish community. The French tipped off Canadian officials and the pair was arrested on six charges, including aggravated assault for an act that took place outside of Canada, potentially... Get this, the ISIS video in which the father was featured in 2015, wherein he hacked up a crucified prisoner with a sword. The pair came to Canada after that 2015 video, and reports indicate the elder LDD is now a Canadian citizen. Conservatives are calling on the Bloc and NDP to support our efforts to recall the Public Safety Committee so that we could investigate all the aspects of this disturbing and shocking event. The Liberals, for their part, blame Stephen Harper for the failure of the immigration security system, even though Harper has not been Prime Minister in nine years. Very pleased to see the Conservatives finally realize that their cuts have consequences. And previously under the Harper government, when they cut more than a thousand CBSA employees, um, at the time, the president of the Customs and Immigration Union said, quote, there will be little and in some cases potentially no investigating or surveillance being done to keep these criminals out of the country and out of our communities. Fortin also said, if the government doesn't change the course and withdraw its plan to implement these cuts, the federal government will be putting the national security and public safety of our communities at risk, end quote. It should also be noted that the Liberals cut the border agency's budget in 2017. Mark Miller, Trudeau's immigration minister, says he's now considering the possibility of revoking LDD's Canadian citizenship. I think Canadians deserve answers. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I'm also going to take the next step, which is to start the preliminary work uh, with the evidence at hand to look at whether the individual in question's citizenship should be revoked. Now, maybe Mark Miller should run that suggestion by his boss, Justin Trudeau, who in 2015 opposed former Prime Minister Stephen Harper's Bill C-24. File this under Harper was right yet again. This law would have revoked the Canadian citizenship of dual citizens convicted of terror offences. All of us who are here expect that we would have a Mr. minimum Harper, bar that people would not, uh, people Canadian, who come here would not be guilty of trying to plan a, a terrorist Mr. attacks Harper, against this country. A Canadian the individual is a Canadian, question, is a Canadian and you devalue, individual. you devalue the citizenship of every Canadian uh, in this place and in this country when you break down and make it conditional for anyone. The we have the rule of law in this country and you the, can't take the, away the the individual individual you like when someone the dies. Individual you can't do that. But Trudeau's moronic defense of the so-called right of foreign nationals to abuse our citizenship to attack people and then get easy treatment in our legal system rather than swift deportation after conviction was not an isolated Trudeau idiocy. He did it again in a campaign town hall 
in 2015. Because what they get to say with the Liberal Party's staunch opposition to C24, because we absolutely and thoroughly impose it, is that, and I'll give you the quote, so you guys can jot it down and put it in an attack ad somewhere, that the, the Liberal Party believes the terrorists should get to keep their Canadian citizenship. Because I do. And I'm willing to take on anyone who disagrees with that. Because the question is, as soon as you make citizenship for some Canadians, conditional on good behavior, you devalue citizenship for everyone. But even earlier, Trudeau explained away the Boston Marathon bombing by two Islamists in 2013, which killed three and injured more than 260, as simply being done by someone who feels excluded. We have to look at the root causes. Now, we don't know now whether it was uh, you know, terrorism or a single crazy or, or uh, you know, a domestic issue or a foreign issue. I mean, all those questions. But there is no question um, that this happened uh, because there is someone who feels um, completely excluded, completely um, at war with uh, innocence, at war with a society. Uh, and. Our approach has to be, okay, where do those tensions come from? We were warned about Trudeau and his sympathy for terrorists. He told us who he was every chance that he got. Some of us listened. Are you listening now? For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreid. Every week in Canada, non-citizen permanent residents are rallying in our streets to show support for the outlawed terror organization Hamas. If you support Hamas and you are not a Canadian citizen, you don't have to go home, but you don't get to stay here. Sign our petition. Go to deporthamas.com.